All right, are you a plus size person looking at the kayak angling industry wondering how the heck do I fit in? Then watch the rest of this series and I will help you give you all the information that I have and that I have learned uh, to show you the best way to make that decision so that your buying and user experience will keep you paddling for years and years to come. to bring you a new series that I've been thinking about for a long, long time. I'm calling the series Angler XL because like me, I'm a bigger guy and I know I'm not the only one out there searching, looking for information, trying to find what's the best kayak, what's the best gear, what's the best, you know, setup. And I plan to cover all these things as we go through this series. What I'm going to start with in this quick video is what is the right kayak for you according to weight? According to a very specific study, you know, a Google search, <laughs> A kayak's weight limit is one of the most important things to consider when purchasing the right size kayak. It's normal for beginner kayaks to see all the available links and widths and options to get confused uh, and end up choosing the wrong kayak based on you know a cool factor rather than real time information and uh, what the weight of the kayak can hold against the weight that you are. Hopefully we're gonna fix that problem. We're gonna give you enough information to make that choice and make that decision moving forward. So. The question we're gonna to answer today is, what size kayak do I need for my weight? Well, the right size kayak for your weight is one with a maximum capacity rating that's about 100 to 125 pounds more than your body weight. Another rule of thumb uh, is to find out the manufacturer's maximum capacity rating and reduce it by about 30 to 35%. 30% seems to work for me, uh, and I'll give you those figures in a moment and let you see how it works out with my kayak and my weight. <laughs> If the weight of you and all your gear fall below the reduced weight limit calculations, then the kayak would be right for your weight. And that's because your kayak's performance and usable weight limit is at least 30% below the manufacturer's maximum capacity rating. That maximum capacity weight limit is how much weight a kayak will hold when fully loaded. But at max capacity, your kayak will ride very low in the water, making it very unstable. So what do I consider the, uh, the Angler XL or the plus size body type? I, I'm looking at, at addressing the 300 pound to 400 pound guy, right? Or, or gal, honestly. Um, the weight capacity ranges for plus size body type of, of kayaks that I'm looking at is uh, from 400 to 600 pound max weight capacity. Now, obviously that 600 pound, that's like your, your Hobie Pro Angler 14 or a lot of your tandem kayaks that can be used uh, as a single. So let's look at some examples. <clears throat> I'm gonna run some numbers by you just to give you um, the, the actual figure. So this is me right here, right? So I got a bona fide SS-127. Uh, the max capacity for a bona fide SS-127 is about 475 pounds or is 475 pounds. If we use the 30% rule, we'll multiply 475 or 475 pound hull capacity times 70%, which is the 100 minus 30, right? So 70% left, so 70% of 475, and we get 332 pounds. So 332 pounds, is the max weight of a person that should use a bona fide SS-127. And what I mean by that is you plus your gear. Now, any of you watch my fishing videos, you notice that I'm super simple. I got a couple of rods, I got a tiny uh, 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 set of plastics and, and some, some tackle. I don't carry a whole lot. Uh, the biggest thing I think I have on my kayak is usually my cart and it sits in the back. I don't use a, a, pack, a crate or anything like that. And we'll talk about logistics later. So I do that because uh, when I first started kayaking, I was 340 pounds. I was technically overweight. So I'm not far from that now. I've gained a lot of that weight back uh, this past year. I got a lot of things going on. So, so I try to make sure that I keep it simple. So even when I was at, you know, I got down to like 300 pounds, um, my, kayak, my kayak was super stable. Uh, I was more able to stand up in it. Uh, best performance of my life and my Bonafide SS-127 when I was about three to 310 pounds, 300 to three, 310 pounds. All right, so let's use one more example real quick to get through this. So the Hobie PA-14 has a max capacity of 600 pounds. If we use the 30% rule, we simply multiply, multiply the 600 pound hull capacity, times 70% of that, and we get 420 pounds. 
That is the max weight of a person that should use a Hobie Pro Angler 14. I am probably more fit for a Hobie Pro Angler to take a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm, you know, if I want to take everything, if I want to take the whole camp uh, on the kayak with me, I probably need a Hobie Pro Angler 14. Uh, but that's why I keep it simple. And when I step up my game, eventually I'll get a Hobie 14 uh, or 17. Actually, I've looked at that as well. So that's basically a boat. Um, so you can see that depending on the style of fishing that you plan to do, um, the kayak you're looking for, the easy calculation that I just give you will help you quickly determine the best kayak hole for your body type. So with that, happy hunting. Look out there. Make sure you look up the max capacity. And if it's not clear, you better ask. And if it's still not clear, you need to get in the kayak. You need to find a demo day and jump in one and try it out for yourself. I will say this with my uh, bona fide SS-127. Um, when I'm uh, my, when my weight is at the higher weight level and I'm closer to that capacity, I keep my seat in the lower position. When I'm in the lower weight capacity, I raise it up in the top position because I can handle it. Uh, so that's just something to think about there. If you've got one, if you're planning to sit high, you might need to take that take that threshold a little higher. So with that, thanks for watching and I appreciate you guys and look forward to the next one. We'll talk about uh, gear, logistics, the setup of the, of the deck, uh, because honestly, I got a bad back. I'm a big guy. Even when I've lost weight, uh, it's hard to get around. So I just want to talk about a few of those things and cover that because honestly, nobody's really talking about this. Nobody's really covering it. So it helps you get out there. It helps me get out there. And the more I talk about it, honestly, I'm honing in some things and realizing, you know, things that I'm doing that I probably should could do better. So hope we all learn from it. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and uh, follow me for more.